Hi guys, welcome to another segment of Mode Lab Education. My name is Luis and I'll be your instructor for this course. And today we're going to talk about conceptual massing with Maya. And this course is going to introduce you to conceptual massing techniques that are going to use a wide array of simple and complex techniques. Uh, no matter what industry you're from, this course is really meant to empower uh, the creative professional and their abilities to bridge the transition between sketching, uh, ideas, and geometry to quickly produce uh, concept massing models. And so the curriculum will guide you through creating geometry, we're going to focus with polygon primitives, and we're going to work through the entire editing process and find different ways to uh, visualize step-by-step -step the evolution of your concepts. So some of the key takeaways uh, first of all is identifying the best geometric system to develop your ideas. So you have to define an abstract concept and while you're doing that you have to develop a working outline of what the process is going to be. We're also going to explore relationships of concepts to geometry and which tools to basically get started with. Uh, the second is low poly versus high poly and what's your final output going to be. Uh, we're going to use defining local and global editing. Uh, always keep the models as low poly until uh, detailing. Uh, focus on establishing edge flows, so figuring out what areas you want to have more resolution, then focus on establishing the directions there. Um, and then we're going to look at poly creasing a bit. And finally, cataloging the evolution of the ideas. So what's the best sequence that's going to highlight your ideas? And we're going to touch a, a little bit on blend shapes that are going to help us uh, output a few of those different options. And so without further ado, let's get going and start with working with image planes in the first lesson.